I'm trustee Jim Dodge and welcome to this year's Chili Willy Challenge. This is an event that we've been hosting for about 15 years now and it goes to benefit Orland Park's special rec programs. A couple of things about uh, today's event. There's roughly 32 participants who will be uh, formally judged by two sanctioning bodies but the interesting thing is that uh, later this afternoon it will be open to the public so please participate and roughly a hundred folks turn in their judging sheets on how well uh, the individual chilies do. So it's been a great event. It goes to a great cause. At this stage, we're going to throw it over to Brad, who's going to talk to some of the folks from the two official Chile sanctioning bodies and uh, judging organizations. Have a great day. Hi, I'm uh, Trustee Brad O'Halloran from the Village of Orland Park, and I'm here today at our Chili Willy Challenge. Um, this is the 15th year of the challenge, and I am here with the Torres family. Um, I'm here with Jose and Loretta Torres, who are both Orland Park residents and have been involved in this contest for 14 of the 15 years, I think. I believe I was here either the first or second year. I can't remember, it's been so long ago. At uh, that time, I lived in Rockford, so I made the trek out here a couple of different times. So I've been involved in this probably 14, 15 years, yes. So almost since the beginning, or maybe the beginning. Uh, you know what, I would have to look at my t-shirts and I could probably find out what year I came out first year. Fantastic. And Loretta? Um, well, we've been married 11 years, so I've been cooking with him for that long. And how long year, have you lived in Orland Park? Um, seven years. Fantastic. That's great. It. So we got you guys from Rockford over to Orland Park. I lived in Rockford. Oh. She lived yes. up because uh, she lived in Chicago Ridge. Yes. Oh, so we moved good. To Chicago Ridge out here. We like we like that one on Park. Fantastic. And what do you think about the what do you think about the challenge itself? It's a great event. I mean, it brings a lot of people out. Uh, this year with the home uh, this year the home style, it gives uh, new people a chance that think they've got good chili that they would serve at home. And uh, I think that was going to bring us some uh, additional cooks out to this event. When it's always been a great event, averaging about 40 to 50 cooks. So between Cassie and ICS and the home side, we probably got about 50 cooks this year. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And as I understand it, both of you are in the food industry as re already yeah. here in Orland Park. Yes. And Loretta, tell me a little bit about that. Well, I'm uh, the office manager at Cooper's Hawk. Uh, I'm at the flagship store right here in Orland Park. Um, I've been there almost since the beginning. I just love it. Oh, fantastic. So, uh, fantastic. I work with wine. He works with beer. But I, I, uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm uh, giving away the secret before you get a chance to ask him. There you go. Yes, and, and let me ask Jose. I know you're, you're over here in all the big pots, but um, Jose, as your wife just alluded to, you too are in the food business here in Orland Park. Yes, I'm the executive chef at Rock Bottom Brewery here in Orland Park, and I've been there close to four years. I've been doing this since I was in high school. I started as a dishwasher back in uh, 1976, and I've been doing it ever since then. I've tried a couple other things. I've uh, worked as a delivery driver. I worked as a meat cutter, but I always come back to the food industry, and that's one of the, uh, it's one of the challenges that... No, no day is ever the same. Never. Oh, no day is ever the same no, in the food business, that's for sure. So it's easy to say that between both of you, you're serving a lot of Orland Park residents every day. Absolutely. That's, that's just great. And here you are at the Chili Willy Challenge, going to be serving residents and other folks who come out every year for this wonderful event. So what we want to say is thank you so much for participating. It's great to see Orland residents that are involved like this, but also it sounds like this is part of your passion. It is. And, you know, it, it's our pleasure to be here. We, we love what we do for a living, and we love being here every year. I mean, I don't. we couldn't possibly have more chili peppers on our person or on the table, I don't think, but we really get involved in it, and this is probably our favorite cook-off. So. This is great, and thank you so much again. No I love the outfits, I love the booth, and I know I'm going to love the chili. Hey guys, I've got one more question. Now, as I understand this, you actually compete against each other in this competition. Is that correct? Oh, yes. Wait. This is serious. I have, I have my recipes in my pocket here, so they're not just laying around. So. You know, other people so you've got to keep feet. you've got to keep your recipes away from this guy. Yeah, well, and vice versa. He, he thinks that my you know he thinks that I just have to you know keep mine secret from him. But oh boy. <laughs>
<laughs> so you you both have your own separate ingredients. Mm -hmm. You create your own separate chilies. Yes. Now do you come in separate cars then so that no one can kind of get an edge up? No, but we did have an incident of sabotage more than once where um, there was a label that was on the, you know, the bottle was mislabeled. Ah. So I thought I was pouring cumin in, but then my cumin was this dark red because someone had changed the label on the bottle. Oh, so there's some uh, subterfuge that can go on between the two of you in this event. My, recipe, my, my recipe is secret. I mean, I've got stuff. Is that really what it is? I don't know what it is. I, mean, I keep my stuff secret. You don't even know what I put in my chili. And, and at the end of all of this, is there any, you know, is there bragging rights, if you will, between the two of you as to whoever wins takes the bragging rights? Oh, Ooh. That's not even true. Not true. And whenever I win, especially if I beat him, we just don't discuss that ever again. <laughs> and that's what keeps both good yeah. chili yeah. and a good marriage. Yeah, we never talk about it once we leave the club. Office, so. I do. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much, guys, no and, and good luck to both of you. And uh, thank you very much. Uh, may the better spouse win. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> All righty. Thanks. Good afternoon. I'm Trustee Kathy Fenton here at the Chili Willy Contest, and what I'm here today is inter interviewing some of our competitors. Our first competitor is first time Heather Warthen. Hi, Heather. Hi, Kathy. How are you? I'm fine this afternoon, and let's talk about your chili. I understand this is your first time. What made you decide to be a competitor this year? Uh, well, I'm editor of the Orland Park Prairie newspaper. I've judged it the past five years, so I felt this year maybe change it up and try and enter. Um, they have a new category this year called Home Style, and so you're allowed to use beans, pasta, rice, whatever you want to use in there. And my chili, I typically use beans. What? So that made you decide to come into the category because you're the editor and you want to have the first-hand experience, which I think is really great. Now, do you have a secret ingredient? I don't mind giving it away because I'm not the hardcore chili cooks you see here today. Um, I decided to use bison as my meat because I thought it might be a little more healthy. And I also use um, sriracha, which is a hot chili sauce that is known from Thailand. Mm. All right, hot. That's one thing that I have to stay away from, but I'm glad everybody is here today. I can smell the aroma and it smells really great. Is this recipe any different than the recipe you would basically use if you were just having friends over for the evening? Oh, sure. Um, I actually did some research on some recipes for bison chili. Kind of, I like to improvise, so I came up with one a couple weeks ago, did a test run at work. Um, people were happy to eat free chili at work, so I, I just kind of go with the flow. When your friends eat your chili, how do they compare it to other chilies, or what are some of their comments that they have to say? They're nothing but positive. <laughs> right, that's what we want to hear. Positive, positive, positive. All right, now I do have one special question. With your chili, do you use noodles or no noodles? No noodles. We don't, we don't do any of that nonsense. I also have celiac disease, so I can't eat them. Well, there we go. So now Heather's telling us, told us her secret. She's telling us she's not using her noodles. Well, we wish you great luck with this event, and I'm glad you're here and on the other side of the table versus just, you know, interviewing and judging. And I know you've been a judge for how many years? Five years. Whoa, that's really super. So, congratulations, good luck, and I hope everyone enjoys your chili as I'm sure they will. Thank you. Hi, we're back here at the uh, Chili Willy Challenge here in Orland Park. And I am with some folks from Texas. And maybe you guys can introduce yourselves. Yes, I'm, I'm Don Cullum from Houston, Texas. Okay, and we've got... Karen Cullum from Houston, Texas. Okay. And Katie Withers from Kingwood, Texas. Okay, and as I understand it, the Cullums, correct, are competing here today. That's we've correct. got uh, another husband and wife here competing, but they have sort of an impartial judge here in Katie, kind of working between them to make sure that we don't have any kind of uh, hanky-panky going on. Because we did an earlier interview, and there was some uh, sabotage by the husband and the wife with respect to this. So, we, we have, have you ever had that? Mm, well, was it one, one, one cook off in New Mexico. One cook off in New Mexico was kind of questionable whether she was sabotaging my chili, but she actually won that title, and I didn't even play. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this gets to be a very competitive event. Yes, it, does. it does. And now, how many competitions have you guys been involved in? Oh, Karen's been cooking a lot longer than I have. I've yeah, I've been cooking since the 80s and uh, got him involved in it just the last two or three years. 
So oh, I would that, say, you know, hundreds. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for me. Fantastic. Yeah, and I've probably done maybe 12, 15, 20 cookoffs. Yeah. Wow, and is this your first time in Orland Park? This is our first time in Orland Park. Yes, it is. Love it. Absolutely wonderful place. Well, welcome to Orland Park. And Katie, how did you get dragged into this <laughs> well, whole I, situation? I'm friends with the Cullums through Boy Scouting, and we came up to meet some scouts we're taking to Switzerland with us, and they asked me to come and cook with them. So, as it turns out, I'm competing not only in uh, the public chili today, but in the home style. And this is my first chili cook-off. First chili cook-off, and we've got you here in Orland Park. Park. Absolutely. That's great. Well, welcome to Orland Park to all of you. Well, thanks. So we much. hope you have a great stay. How long will you be staying with us? We'll be here through Monday afternoon. Oh, that's that's awesome. So, we love to have new folks come out to Orland and visit our town, and uh, love to get your opinion of it when after you guys take off. Great. Absolutely. So please let us know how everything was and uh, how the hospitality was. But we love you know it's great to have you here at this cook-off today, and I want to wish all of you guys the best of luck, and I hope. Katie, you're going to be okay with all of this, and we're not, you know, no, you're not going to have to put somebody in the corner. No, here. they're they're on their best scout appropriate behavior. We're doing great. Yeah. Good, good. And thank you guys. Thank you guys for hosting us. It's a wonderful uh, setup you guys have here. We can I really appreciate you guys facilitating and hosting this this cook off. Well, yeah. Thank you all very much for having us. Well, I, I've got to add one more thing too. You've been very gracious coming from the SEC and the Southeast Conference <laughs> and me with my Notre Dame shirt on. Yeah. So um, I really appreciate the graciousness, especially after that uh, sort of thrashing we took against Alabama there. Yeah. But again, uh, um, you know, not rubbing it in too much. Yeah. So, well, see, so if it's any consolation, we beat Alabama this year. So we were the only team to beat Alabama. So we helped you out there. And got the Heisman Trophy. And got the Heisman Trophy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I feel a lot better now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, folks. So good to see you. Thank you Thank very you. much. All righty. Thank you. So nice Thank meeting you, so you all. It was really nice to meet you too. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back again to the uh, Orland Park Chili Willy Chili Challenge. And I'm here with two of the folks that are the sanctioning bodies of this entity. And maybe you can introduce yourself and tell me a little bit about your organization and we'll go over here to Wes first. Uh, I'm Wes Carlson, I uh, live in Rockford, Illinois and uh, we're with the International Chili Society and uh, it's an organization that's raised several million dollars for uh, charity events throughout the years. So. And sir? I am Bill Pearson, I live in Batavia, Illinois, I represent uh, the Chili Appreciation Society International Inc. Okay. That's what we call it, Cassie. It's a shorter, easier way to say it. Uh, Cassie is very similar in, in many respects to ICS, that we raise money for charities and civic organizations. Uh, both both organizations trace their origin back to a cook-off held in Terlingua, Texas in 1967. Um, the, two, the two groups split in 1975 and, and have been going our separate ways ever since, but as you can see from looking around here, there are a lot of people that cook with both organizations, and it's a pretty friendly, fr friendly existence. We don't hurt each other. And we try to help each other when we when we can. <laughs> so, as I understand it, on both organizations, really, you're all passionate and involved in Chile. Yes. But it's all for a good cause at the same time. That is correct. Can Can you give me a little idea of where some of the charitable contributions go to? Well, we uh, we do it for the Kidney Foundation, uh, the cancer research, and uh, uh, like March of Dimes and things like that. So it depends upon the uh, individual event, which one which uh, charity they go to. Like here, it goes to special needs for the recreation, so. So this goes to our special recreation yes, department. That, that's awesome, you know, we're taking an event like this, an event that so many participants are involved in, yes. and it's just not about chili, but it's about chili and, in this case, you know, as folks who really say, need as help. As we say, chili, charity, and fun. Right. Chili, charity, and fun, I love it. Wait a minute, that, that's, a, that's a Cassie slogan. <laughs> He's, he's stealing my material. <laughs> and as you see, you know, we, we all get together. There's, this is a neat group because there are some new cooks here, some people cooking for the first time, and there's some cooks who have been cooking a very long time, like Wes. Wes has been cooking longer than I've been alive. <laughs> 
<laughs> I age well. Yeah. And and as I uh, understand it, there are some world champions here today. Yes, there cooking. Are. Yes, there's Maybe uh, you can there's tell a number. Us a little bit about that. Uh, we have uh, two past uh, ICS Red World champions, uh, Maureen Barrett and Jim Weller, and there are four uh, Chile Verde world champions: uh, Jeff Netzer, Laura, Lauren Ray, Gary Ray, and myself. And I. Uh, I thought you were going to be real modest there, but <laughs> it, it did come out that you are That's one right of the past DNA. champions. Right. Yes. One of the past champions. So, uh, and, and it's kind of a friendly competition between the groups. It really is. Yeah. It really is. And it's, it's fun. We don't get to do this often. Uh, the, this, the, the Orland Park Chili Willy is the one event that really draws the two organizations together. There are some others, but, but Chili Willie is, is the one that started it in this area. And are these events nationwide, worldwide? Yes. Um, in, in the Cassie organization, uh, Cassie is made up of 70 local pods throughout the United States, and we have one in Canada. And there's one in the Virgin Islands, which I guess really isn't foreign. They're part of us. But last year we did hold a, a, a cook-off in Shanghai, China. Uh, the two of the winners came to our championship in Trilingual last November. Uh, that's quite a trip. Oh, That's quite a trip. <laughs> that, that had to be really something. Yeah. And how about your organization? Ours is the same. Uh, right now we have... Uh, <coughs> um, members in US and Canada as well as Mexico and uh, we used to have people come from uh, Australia uh, they got into some other things now and and no longer participate but and today we have several uh competitors that are from very far afield, you know, not just here in the local Illinois community. I just met with some folks from Texas, um, but it seems like all over. Are there any other uh, competitors here, here that we should There's know? people here from Wisconsin, which is a foreign country. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Especially if you're a Bears fan. Yeah, that's right. And uh, and Maryland. Uh -huh. And so. Good. And how about from your, your group? Any? Yes, we have, um, well, we're represented by Iowa out in the other room. Yeah, that's kind of mm -hmm. like Wisconsin. We put them out in the other room. <laughs> but we have a Cassie director, two of them here. One's from Indiana, one's from Baltimore. And they're right over here behind us. And uh, they, probably, they got a shirt on like mine. So, okay. yeah. <laughs> and how how do you both feel? How long have you both been involved in coming to Orland Park for the Chili Willie Challenge? Well, I've been coming since it started 15 years ago. And, and I've so. been coming since it started 13 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> since your group got yeah, involved. It started okay. an ICS event, and, and mm -hmm. uh, they decided to add Cassie a couple of years later, and. So I've been involved in it since then. And I, how would you rank the uh, Chili Willie Challenge here in Orland Park compared to a number of other areas that you might go and see competitions? It's a lot of fun. They're very well organized and it's uh, very well run. So it, it's one of the things we really like to see is they get a large crowd here. A lot of people turn out. That supports the charity, obviously. But we get to you know talk to them, interact with the, the local public, and that's that's always fun. When we have cook-offs where there's nobody but us cooks, we still manage to have fun, but, but it's kind of a private fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. So, well, listen, I want to thank both of you for being long-standing supporters of the Chili Willy Challenge and uh, coming here to Orland Park and, and being so involved and, uh, again, helping us make this a, the wonderful event it's become. Thank so you. thank you both. Thank you. Great meeting you. Thank you. Okay.
I'm back again here with some more competitors for the Chili Willy contest in Orland Park. I'd like to introduce you to Cher Cheryl and Bill. Although they're married, today they're competing against one another in this fantastic competition. Cheryl, could you give us a little insight on why you two are involved in the Chili Willy contest and how many years you've been doing this? Uh, we've been doing this all 13 years that they've had a Cassie cook-off here and uh, we've cooked chili for about 25 years and we found it's like going to a family reunion and just a lot of fun and uh, I can compete against Bill and maybe uh, win today. That sounds great. Bill, what do you have to say about that? I ain't, I ain't buying it. <laughs> <laughs> now I know you're a little bit more involved in the contest. Uh, yeah, I kind of organize and run the judging. Um, it's part of part of the uh, duties I have with Cassie. Uh, Chili appreciates it. So, oh, we did that before. And uh, so I'll be in, pretty much involved after turn-in time and and uh, getting getting everything nailed down, helping Patty and uh, do a good job. Wes and I work pretty good as a team, and uh, uh, we've both been involved in this as long as they've done Chili Willie here. And uh, uh, <laughs> it's it's just it's a good great cook-off. It's a good event. Just love to be part of it. Okay, I understand you're from Batavia, and I know Batavia has a national contest in July. But I also had a little insight before that some of the little grandchildren have been great participants in the Chili Willy and all different types of chili contests. That's correct. We've got two granddaughters. Sydney's eight and a half, and uh, Hayden is six. And uh, Sydney's first year, she uh, was at about 13 different cook-offs with us and loves uh, Papa's competition chili. Now, I have to ask we, if either one of you can divulge a secret ingredient to either one of your chilies. We'd have to kill you. Oh, well, that wouldn't be very much fun. <laughs> Luck. Oh. oh, now that's a good one. That one everyone can have in their chili. The name of my chili is Happy Chili because Happy Chili is winning chili. I like that theory. So Cheryl, what are we going to come back with? Um, my chili is Diamond Coyote Chili, and um, it can beat ha it, it, it can beat Happy Chili anytime. <laughs> but we do cook the same thing. We get the same meat from the butcher. Bill mixes all our spices, and most of the time, it turns out a little bit different. Okay, so you have your chili that you cook for the competitions. Do you, if you're at home just having a family get-together, is there a different chili recipe that you use? Yes, I use Chili Man Chili out of a can. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, he, he's the cook at home, so. Okay, do you use um, noodles in your chili for the competition, or do you use noodles? and Any kind of filler, like pasta, beans, or you know, anything like that is not permitted in either the ICS or the Cassie competitions. This is strictly a meat and, sp and gravy and spices. Okay. So at home, yeah, I use beans. It, it uh, makes a bigger pot. Okay. And uh, it's why they're called fillers. It makes it go farther. But I have a special recipe at home. I'll mix up some extra spices, big batch, put them in the refrigerator. You know, Saturday afternoon or something, I'll just get a pound of hamburger, cook it up, throw a bunch of that spice in there, and... And a can of beans. Oh, <laughs> one of the things I do have to ask you, Cheryl, um, one, you're wearing one of my favorite colors, which is pink. I wore red today because of the chili contest. But on a more somber note here, not somber, but a different type of feeling here. Could you explain to our viewers why you're wearing pink? Yes, I'm a breast cancer survivor. It'll be four years in April. Congratulations. And I'm doing very well. And uh, I just... Uh, I, I, I guess I like to show that uh, I am a breast cancer survivor, and if anybody out there sees this and wants to talk about it, I'm willing to, to discuss their situation or mine. Well, one of the things our viewers can't see that she has these awesome pink cowboy boots on. If you want to stick your foot out there, maybe our cameraman can get, get your boot. And she also brought a very special friend with her, Fabio, who is a supporter here for her for not only her chili contest, but also for um, survivors of breast cancer. So Cheryl, not only do we wish you luck today in the Chili Willy contest, but I wish you future happiness and everything, and you look fabulous. You. Power to the pink ladies, and um, good luck to both of you. And Thank you. 
Unfortunately, I'm going to have to side with Cheryl on this one. <laughs> Thank you. Most people do. Well, <laughs> maybe it's Fabio. Um, but there again, thank you for joining us. Welcome back. We are in the judging room, and I have a couple of uh, special guests with me today. We have Jim Guerra, Trustee Pat Guerra, and Kevin Simpson, who uh, all three have judged before. And so what we thought we would do is spend a few minutes talking about the judging portion of this. So I guess, we'll, we'll, Kevin, we'll start with you. How many times have you done this? This is my second year. I was a rookie last year, and I can admit that I was a little intimidated coming in last year, not knowing what to expect. And uh, when I got here and saw how serious people were about this whole competition, I was really intimidated. But I had so much fun, I decided, you know, I'd come back next this year and uh, looking forward to today. So tell everybody how you came to be a judge here. Well, my wife Stephanie works for the village, and um, they were looking for volunteers to help out. And I thought I like chili; it'd be a good opportunity for me to come and help out, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Oh, there you go. Thanks. Now, Pat, I think you've done this for a number of years. So tell us your story about becoming a, a, a judge here. Yes, I think when I first got on the board, I brought my husband over and said, "This will be a good thing." To do so we learned these skills which you know they're fine-tuned we've been doing this probably for seven or eight years and it's so much fun you amp up your medication before you come in a little bit and then uh, you just do what you have to do I think there's 11 criteria if I'm or there's 11 samples usually and the different criteria there that you know the flavor the the, sh the texture some of really unusual textures to some cubes I've never seen cubed meat for chili before this so uh, it's a lot to learn and we're still working at. Jim, tell us about when you first did this, what, uh, what, what was it like? Well, I was, I was excited to get involved with it. I'm a big chili fan. I, I actually left right afterwards, went online, and oh, right. I made the biggest batch of chili you could ever imagine. <laughs> but uh, people have to understand, James, I mean, this is a high-level judging. I mean, there's a great deal of competency that goes into this. We train 11 months out of, uh, out of 12. One month we get off after the competition. So, <laughs> We're gonna. I mean, we, we, oh, okay, Jim, just for the record, 11 months worth of training to get ready for today's judging event. Just want to make sure we got that right, Jim. Well, yeah, but the travel and stuff that's required, uh, and we all pay for that out of our own pockets. But uh, anyway, uh, no, I've loved it very much, and, and it's a new experience every year. There's some really, really creative uh, people out here. In fact, I see that there's several new uh, people that are local out here that are competing, so it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, I tell you, from walking in this morning, the Civic Center certainly smells great with all, with all the chili going on. So I have a couple of questions about some of the uh, specific criteria. So what are you looking for when you, when you do the judging, and how many, you said, Pat, I think 11 samples. So, so what are you looking for? Well, I think you, you take in a lot into consideration. You know, I mean, obviously the taste, the texture, the appearance. Um, you know, there's different con um, uh, flavors that come out, and I think it, I was a little again intimidated at first. Uh, I didn't know how much went into it, but uh, you know, you really look at all aspects. You take your time. Uh, you know, you clean your palate in between each taste, and you make sure you really take the time to to look at the texture. You know, the the Firepower? Yeah, I mean... Well, I, hey, hey, the, see, that's one of the things I want, I want to ask about, because I, I, my assumption is chili usually equates to pretty spicy, pretty hot. So does that work that way in the, in, in the contest? Some. You know, it, as you said, there's 11 samples, depending on how many chefs are participating. But some have a higher degree of fire to them. Others are a little milder and some sweeter, too. It, it just depends on what they're looking for in their profile. Like Jim said, when he went online to research it, he knew the profile he was looking for, so then he had a better idea what to research. So, so what, one, one question is, as we start to, to wrap this up. Is this fun? Oh, I think it's a riot. And it's free lunch. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's so bad, Jim. You know, and we've met some people over the years. That there's one guy in particular that we see every year, same time. He's at the Red Chili's at two o'clock. I don't know his name, but he looks for us, and we look for him. We recognize his face, and we have a good time at our table. It's the same people each year, it seems. There you go, hey, Kevin. The last thing I'll add is you have to provide for a warm up and a cool down with this. You got to make sure you got nothing <laughs> planned tomorrow, because by the end of the the, the contest, I mean you've had your fill of chili, but and it's really good but 
got to cool down and make sure you got no plans. That's why I, I like that it's on a weekend and that by the time I go to work on Monday, I'm ready to go. <laughs> ready to go. Well, I'll tell you, it, it sure seems like a fun event. There's a great buzz in the room. But what I've noticed, and, and tell me if you see this here in the judging, the competitors, they're really intensely focused on the chili. Oh boy. This is serious competition for them. I mean, you think people invest in this. They come from all over the country to compete here. And I think this is one of their primary or prime locations. So they come in here and they bring in their samples and it's golden. And then we get to taste a little bit and mark our little sheets and they don't want us talking among ourselves as we're doing it. There's no conversation. Each one is judged. Very hush, very focused. Hush. Oh yeah, and you don't compare one sample to another. It's you judge them on their individual merits. And, and it, it's fun. You know, I can't imagine doing it. It's a lot of work and a lot of effort and I imagine expense, but we enjoy it. You know, and I think it's better than any chili that could be store-bought or restaurant sure. made it is clearly top of the line yeah. product that comes out F favorite memories you know this is only my second year but I you know I I agree with Pat that, that there's a lot of time and effort invested by the the people that have done this so you owe them the the courtesy of when you do the testing or the judging that you do it in a serious manner and um, I just had so much fun last year it was well worth coming back again this year now we're, we're glad you're here we're this has been a great event so, so thank you for this and and, and good luck with the uh, with the next couple of hours worth of uh, chili tasting and judging and uh, as everyone knows it's a great event for a great cause so appreciate it uh, on behalf of the uh, the village doing the uh, doing the judging so. good job our pleasure <laughs> you were wondering is this the next career Are you <laughs> don't i wish Thanks again for joining us today at the Chili Willy Chili Contest. We've had a great time. We've met some great folks from all across the country who've come here to compete. It's a great event for a great cause. And I want to thank uh, Gary from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, for bringing us to a great close. Have a great day. Hey, let's all go to Chili Cacon. Have ourselves some chili and beer. So to me, like a good idea. Just come on over here. We can dance to the music of a rapid flow band. Just some band and air. Let's all go chili cook up. Have ourselves some chili. Yeah, all right. The alarm clock rings at 7 a.m. And it sounds like World War III. The one that you had for the road last night turned out to be 16. You crawl the sink and you look in the mirror. Stare at that awful mess, yuck. Wait till Pepto-Bismol is the only one cure for this. Hey, let's all 
Let's all go to feel it come off and have ourselves a beer. Sounds to me like a good idea. Just come on over here. We can dance to the music of a rapid flow band. Just sit down down here. Let's all go to chill it come off and have ourselves a beer. Hey, let's all stay at the chill it off till they kick us out of here. Beautiful.